Hello everyone, the main topic of our video today will be China again. As you know, China is a growing and rapidly developing country in every field. Developing in every field, China has started to invest heavily in the military field in recent years. They used to use fake versions of Russian and Soviet systems, but things changed in the 90s. China, which has made serious investments in our VED, can now produce advanced technology military weapon systems thanks to its strengthening economy. They even surpassed Russian technology in many areas. Investing in many military areas, China's biggest pride is its navy. In the near future, the Chinese navy wants to have a large fleet of aircraft while building new ships to challenge the American navy. As a result, these planes have to be produced locally. Yes, China wants to challenge the U.S. Navy. If you want to be a superior power, you need to be able to make instant military shipments to anywhere in the world, just like America. So you will need a strong navy. When moving such a large navy, you will need an air force that can protect it. The J-31, which is the subject of this video, will also be the future of the Chinese Navy. The main aircraft of the new generation of Chinese aircraft carriers will be the J-35, developed on the basis of the J-31. Before I begin, I have to say the following. The official name of this plane is FC-31 Greifalken, its export name is F-60, but since the whole world calls it J-31, I will call it J-31 in this video. China, which produced original aircraft in the 2000s, wanted an air superiority aircraft like the F-22 Raptor owned by the USA. And as you know today, this plane is called J-20. While the J-20 was being developed, the Chengdu company was developing another project called the J-31. This project was not requested by China, but the Chengdu company was developing a light version of the J-20 for export markets. There is no information on when the J-31 project started, but this aircraft first appeared at an exhibition in 2011. It made its first flight in 2012. Chengdu Company started developing the plane, but this plane didn't care about the Chinese government until 2018. Whatever happened in 2018, the Chinese government started to demand this plane. The story so far was the official story of this plane. In the unofficial story of this plane, the claims are made by the United States. According to the claims of the United States, both J-20 and J-31 are stolen planes. All stealth technology of these planes was stolen from America. According to these allegations, hackers working on behalf of the Chinese government between 2008 and 2012 infiltrated the American defense system and stole very important information about the F-22 and F-35. They used the information they obtained in this way while developing the J-20 and J-31. In short, America says you stole this technology from us and now you are using it in a blazing manner, but the Chinese government denies these claims. You can tell what you think about these claims in the comments. Back to the topic, China's old aircraft carriers use small carriers and a ramp system. In this system, the planes reach maximum speed on the runway and then take off from the ramp at the end of the runway. The Chinese want to use the Cathabar technology used by America and France in the new generation aircraft carriers. China, which wants J-31 warplanes to be used in new generation aircraft carriers, has developed a Navy version for this. The J-31 version of the FC-31 Greifalken will be produced for the Air Force and the J-35 version for the Navy. Let me talk about the technical features of FC-31 Gerfalken on, also known as J-31. The J-31 is 17.3 meters long, has a wingspan of 11.5 meters and a height of 4.8 meters. The maximum takeoff weight of this aircraft is 28 tons. It looks exactly like the F-35 in appearance, and we can say that this aircraft is the sister of the F-35 in the Eastern Bloc. However, unlike the F-35, it has two engines. Using WS-13 engines, the J-31 can reach a speed of approximately 2,200 kilometers per hour thanks to these engines. The combat radius of the aircraft is 1,200 kilometers, and the maximum range it can reach is 4,000 kilometers. 
I can say that it is somewhere between the F-35A and F-35C in terms of its technical characteristics. It is available in the most modern and avionic systems developed by China in J-31 warplanes. Thanks to the Type 1475 AESA radar, the J-31 can reach a detection range of 222 kilometers. Optical sensors and infrared scanning systems are available. If we talk about weapon systems, the J-31 does not officially have any machine guns, but the Chengdu company says that it can add a machine gun at the request of the buyer. It has the ability to carry a total of 8 tons of ammunition under the wing and in the fuselage. Anti-ship missiles are being developed for this aircraft, and it is said that these developed missiles can be stored in the fuselage. That's it for my video about J-31. Thank you for watching. If you found the video useful, do not forget to like it and subscribe to be aware of such videos. Have a nice day.